Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Crystal. If you're new here, I go buy plants with Crystal here, and today I'm going to be sharing how I have put together this cabinet. There was a lot of steps involved when creating your own plant cabinet. The actual building of it wasn't the hard part. It was the adding the lights and the shelves and everything else included. So I figured I would share the good, the bad, the ugly, the weird, and everything in between. So I hope you stick around. So if you are in the market for your own grow cabinet or if you are trying to switch up your own, then I hope that you find this helpful. So I'm going to take you back to last month when we first started and let's just go ahead and get right into it. Step number one was to organize this office and I changed the layout. I purchased another desk because I needed a larger desk and I decided I want to have my cabinet here so I wanted to make space for it. So now that I kind of know the layout, once I get the cabinet built, I'll finalize everything but now it's time to to put it together. I don't have all the pieces yet, but at least I'll get it set up. And then I can add the shelves and the rest. Okay. I'm gonna be tired just from opening the box. Listen, listen. I want to show you these instructions. We're going to be victimized by the IKEA instructions, okay? Every time it says one person, and then it says, okay, yeah, two people. I'm one person. Don't, don't tell me what I can and cannot do, IKEA instructions, okay? This is me. I will have a smile like this. I will not be pouting like this. I don't need that negativity during this build. It's gonna be great. Where are the screws? Where are the screws? <laughs> no, seriously, where are all the screws? <laughs> I found them. They were in the trash. <gasps> that would have been bad. The box. Let's take it to the garage. They had all the things. Okay, we're good now. So I'm at the point where I'm going to put my sides on now. And so I'm gonna put the sides first and then I'll drill my hole. What I learned from creating holes when I did my Rutsta small cabinet is when you have the glass on there and you're drilling, it's super, super loud and it also shakes. So I don't want to uh, break the glass potentially and this one is going to require you to drill two holes like two layers worth of holes I'll show you what I mean I think that's the part that I'm most nervous about is the hole making because it just it takes a while and adding the glass because you know I'm doing this by myself and I want to make sure that I don't break it. Two inch drill bit for this one. You're going to need your drill. Open all the way up. I think I'm going to do it more towards the middle right here because there's that, that foot on the bottom and the end and I don't want it to hit that. So I'm gonna do it more around here. I'm gonna wing it. But what we're not gonna wing, get something for underneath. We have shards of metal. Safety glasses. Okay, let's do it. Just a few tips for this. You don't have to put pressure on the drill. Just really let the hole saw do the work. So you see that I'm just hovering over it and then I'm just letting it do its thing. It's gonna take some time. If you hear this sound, then readjust 
and straighten back out and then just continue to go through. If you're hearing something that sounds like this, that means that it's it's working and it's it's making its way through. Ooh, one layer down. Okay. Oh, that's so scary. It's hot, so be careful. This is super, super hot. Oh, I see it. You did it. It's almost there. I think I'm nervous about the glass. I realized I missed these for the sides, for the, like the door side. And so I was trying to screw one on and I was trying to screw this one on and it just wasn't fitting. And I'm like, what is going on? I realized there's a difference. So look at the, let me see if I can get it close here. But do you notice the lip, like the actual hole? here how it's deeper this one is deeper than this one well this one that is not as deep is going to be the ones for the back and the one that is those go all along the sides so a little tip there next step is to put the handles on but i'm going to put some of the weatherproofing on it first for the doors that way it's easier to get it and I can always yeah I'll screw through the wedding weather proofing so that it holds on better so let me go ahead and do that so you just cut to size I had installed these that you add on the door just to lock it, but I might, um, I'm gonna see, I might take it off. I think I'm gonna take it off and reinstall it with that plastic right there. Hi. so that the drill can or the screw can go through it easier yeah that's I actually like that I did that and here it is now it's all built and put together it didn't take me as long as I thought it would it's not a hard project like, to put it together it's just more tedious because you want to make sure that everything is align correctly you want to make sure the holes are where they you know need to be to make sure that it all fits i think i'm going to stop there since i don't have everything i have majority of the things but it's just like the small details but the big thing that i'm waiting for is the um are the shelves the acrylic shelves so i think once i have everything then i will come back on and finish some things that i've done since i built it I received these handles and these are actually really great. You could just pull them right off. You see that? And then it does come with just a film that you could put inside to just have it stick. But I like to have the ability to switch out things fairly quickly if I need to. And so I did not put them, but they stay pretty secure. So yeah, they just go right over just like so. Something that I don't think I showed either was just right here where the door opening is i put a piece of this um seal so it's white i'm trying to do a all white with just like acrylic so it looks clean and so i made sure i got the one that had the white fluff <laughs> so i just put it all the way let me show you I did it all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom. And same with the other side, all the way to the top, 
all the way to the bottom. I think, yeah, the last I showed too was this seal that I put here, which doesn't disturb the actual closing of the door. Just let me make sure that you close that one first, and then this one. See, and then that just seals the crack in the middle. I do have to adjust the door a bit because you see it's it's a bit uneven, so I want it to be parallel to each other. But I think at this point, we are now ready to put the things inside. Yay! I'm excited, okay! I use these acrylic shelves for my small cabinet for my red stuff, and I love them so much, so I went ahead and ordered from the same company. I ordered the large ones. Let's see. Uh, it comes with all the attachments. So I got some pegboards for the back. There's quite a few. I think I also got pegboards for the sides as well. Monster leaves! Those ventilation holes, I love them. I have to get a little snack. This is gonna be a long one. I just got corn nuts. It has to be the chile picante con limon though. You smack. So for the lights, I'm going to be using the Barina T5s. They come in a pack of four. Those lights in the pack, they come with the connectors. But I got some extenders because you have to hook up the other ones to each other for them to work. So yeah, I'll start with this first. And then the lights come with these stickies. I've used these lights for many years and I use them on my shelves. I have the open shelves in my plant room and I don't use just this. This doesn't hold it well, especially when the light warms up, this doesn't hold. So you're gonna need something stronger. So that's why I'm gonna try magnets first. If that doesn't work, then I also have a heavy duty double-sided tape. If I just did it the way that it came in the box, this would not reach. That wouldn't even go through the hole. You'll definitely need your extender. We have these heavy duty magnets, like they're so, look how hard it is to get them apart. Okay, with the magnet, will it just stick to the top? Yeah, that's gonna stick. <laughs> Pretty feisty there, huh? Okay, so there and there. That's nice because then, ooh, yeah, that's really nice. That's, that's very sturdy. Thank gosh, okay, I was nervous. I was like, please, please. I wanna put the shelves so that I kind of know what I wanna do, you know? And I can know where to put the lights. I'm trying to think of maybe like size-wise some of the plants that I have, and then from there I can decide where I wanna put the rest of the lights and then I have the cord hiders. I will be using cord hiders so that I can make it look as discreet as possible. So I like instructions. I like to see what is there, how to do it. And this, you have to really see what kind of setup is gonna work for you. Obviously you can change it around as time goes by and that's the nice thing. I'm just gonna sit with this for a while, see what I wanna do and then I'll show you what I did. I'm gonna walk away from the lights for a bit and put the fans up. And so what I decided to do, I have these magnets and they have a little hook that you screw on. And so I kind of want the fan to just be hanging in the corner like that. So then I just found a zip tie. I'm just gonna see. If this works the way that I thought it would in my brain. Oh my, that is so strong. Wow. 
I could just hang it like so. So I think I'm gonna have three fans. Definitely want airflow. That's super important. I'm not going to be using a humidifier. Right now, I'm just trying to conceal some of the cords. I'm using this cord cover. So it comes with the sticky and then you cut to size. I already pre-cut. Oh, I, pre I cut that really good actually. I just cut it with scissors. I had these shears, but they worked really well. So I just used that. Cut my core or my sticky to size. Stick the one piece where you want it against the edge. I had to cut it a little shorter. This thing sucks. I took the shelf down much easier because you have to have some kind of space to be able to slide it in. There we go. Good. Better. Yay. It'll look like that. You won't be able to see the cord right there. You see? Cool. Okay. Okay, cord management for me has been a nightmare. It doesn't, um, it doesn't stick for very long. Like even if I'm tugging on it, right now it's staying put. But any little pressure I was providing, it would just unstick. So, I mean, it looks okay now, but it's not on. This is another example of what it looks like. So it's just not sticking. Okay, sometimes you just have to walk away from the things and so that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm done, it is dark outside now. So, so far I have fans set up, the lights are on, the shelves are up. I still have a few of the small shelves to put up. But next time I will be doing cord management or finishing cord management and finalizing the cabinet. So I've installed the acrylic shelves for the fans I wanted to keep this exposed so it doesn't bother me that there's just a bit of cords here so I have the fans on one side so fans here I'm I need to trim this off but fans this is where it starts to get a little funky this part was very thick so the only thing that I could do really was just duct tape it and put it to the side I'm gonna have a plant right here so you're not gonna be able to tell but I started to get really frustrated with the cord management part so it is what it is I'm okay with that if you see this side compared to this side so this side is awesome. This side is where all the cords are. So it's okay. Turn on the fans. It's not very loud at all. Good airflow with three fans on each section. This part is another part that got weird. Hi. So I wrapped it in that white duct tape and then I just kind of taped it down here so you could hardly tell once you're like obviously if you're in close you're going to be able to tell but it doesn't bother me at all these shelves have the cutouts so that you can pin your lights to them which is nice the fun part putting plants We are now at a stable 66% with humidity, which is where I want to stay. I want to stay about 60 to 70% humidity. If I want to add more humidity or get it higher, then I'll add more plants. So 
so I don't want to use a humidifier for this. And I still have a lot more space for plants, luckily, so this is what we're looking like right now. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.